Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We got the Nerf Tricera Blast. Now, if you guys remember, we just did a review on the Rex Rampage, which we thought was a pretty sweet blaster. And, you know, this one is kind of following up, of course, on the Dino Squad line. Now, we do have coming up, we got the, whoa, we got the Stego Smash also. So just keep an eye out for that. We just kind of wanted to talk about that because we think that one looks pretty cool. But for this, again, we're going to go over the Tricera Blast. We thought, you know, out of the three so far, I thought, yeah, this one... You know, it looks pretty cool, but we'll see if it's actually worth, you know, anything, right? If, it, if it's worth getting. So, first things first, guys. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys definitely subscribe. Make sure you guys get in on the giveaways we're doing. We give away a lot of cool stuff, and sometimes it just takes 30 seconds, right, to get in on those giveaways. So, keep checking those things out. But let's hop right into this, because I want you guys to take a look at the box. So, first things first, if we take a look at the front of the box... I mean, I really like the artwork and kind of how Nerf did this box with the Dino Squad kind of theme here, right? These blasters are definitely unique, and the front of the box looks very, very cool, I think. Anyways, on the back of the box, check that out. I think that blue, though, looks a little bit different than the actual blue of the uh, of the, um, of the Tricera Blast here. Again, 12 darts, and you can see on the side there, it talks about the other blasters, which, of course, are the Stego Smash and the Rex Rampage, all of which we have. I don't know what other ones are going to come in the line, but hopefully maybe we'll get some sneak peeks here soon. But again, on the back of the box in this, you can see this is more of a darker blue comparison to this light blue. Either way, I think it looks uh, pretty sweet, right? The Kind of this light blue. Now, if we take a look directly at this particular blaster itself, again, I think they did a very good job here. Very cool molding. It kind of has this dino skin texture on it. And, you know, it's actually not too bad when looking at it. I mean, they could have gone far worse, but still uh, not too bad. It actually really reminds me um, of, uh, you guys will see this here, of kind of the, the Nerf blaster here, kind of the shooting mechanism. Very, very similar. I thought the handle still kind of remind me of a Nerf Rival uh, takedown. It was just very similar. But I know there's a lot of blasters that have this kind of cocking mechanism. But that's kind of what it reminded me of just initially out of the gate. Now, it does come with, yes, 12 of the uh, Dino Squad kind of themed darts here, which are kind of this turquoise green with kind of a yellowish, greenish tip. And, I mean, they give you enough, right? They're still three short to fill up the whole blaster, but they give you enough for the back end. And you can see that the darts here are, they're, they're pretty much the same across the board, right? I mean, from the Nerf Elites, uh, I shot the waffles, I shot uh, the bamboos through here. And I, again, I didn't notice a difference. They all shot fairly well. Now, on the back of this blaster, yes, they do have basically 12 slots for your additional uh, darts that you can put back there. But if you have three inside the blaster already, you're kind of three short, right? You don't stick all of your rounds in the back and then take a round out to stick it in the front and go play. You usually stick three in here, right, and then go shoot. I don't know. I just always, I'm always like, come on, just give me enough to fill up the whole back and the blaster, and that's perfect. Then you got full capacity and full capacity ready to go. Uh, now, you can see, though, this molding, uh, again, up top here on the front of this thing, it looks really, really cool. I mean, these spikes are definitely hard spikes up here on the front. So, I mean, you hit something with that. Oof. I mean, you're... <laughs> It's not it's not gonna feel comfortable uh, nonetheless, but I do like the molding and the texturing up there the grip is again It's it's really good. It just reminds me of um, Kind of the takedown grip, right? I can see people kind of chopping this back piece off because again It is kind of ugh, it's kind of just like up there if you really want to put this here But I guess for a smaller nerfer by all means you'd be able to tuck in here and kind of blast away but still, nonetheless, I think you could take this off real easy. It looks like with two screws back here. But I could see where somebody might actually cut this whole back piece off just to make it so, you know, it's just more handheld than anything. Um, now, the caulking mechanism still, again, reminds me of just the same old blasters that I've used in the past. And, I mean, yeah. I mean, overall, it feels really good. To kind of load this, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You just kind of push down the front there and it opens up kind of the three little uh, openings there for your darts. I could still see a lot of people taking this little pivot piece off, right? I mean, I think it still would look cool even if it didn't have this pivot piece on there. And then maybe just taking that dyno front piece and just sticking it right there, right? I don't know. I, I'm i like, man, it would look really cool even without it. But then again, I was thinking if you're going to put this in a holster, you're going to have that like a big holster or just, again, sling mount it. I don't know. I was just like, man, if you took off the dino head and everything, it looks like a very similar blaster we've all seen in the past. But still, I like that mechanism kind of, you know, bringing it down and going. I was hoping that when you uh, when you did this, 
it would cock it and maybe it would cock it for all three. So you can just pull the trigger, you know, a little bit, it would shoot a little bit more, it would shoot second and then third. That would have been sweet, but still, nonetheless. Um, let's take a look at me actually shooting this particular blaster. So again, nothing too crazy on these particular blasters. You know, I always expect right around the 70 FPS and that's pretty much what we got 60 to 70 FPS somewhere right in there. It ranged. It wasn't too crazy when it came to shooting this blaster. Um, again, when I shot the waffle heads, I shot the e-vikes. They were all pretty much the same. They all shot around 60 to 70. I didn't really notice any improvement on accuracy because this particular blaster again, you know, I got three shots. I'm not going to go super sniper mode <laughs> with this particular thing. But again, it's super easy to cock back, super easy to point, and fire. I did notice sometimes, though, if you really didn't push the actual darts down in there, sometimes, of course, they didn't shoot as hard or as consistent as some of the other times. But still, uh, you know, when you're pushing these down in there, I just made sure I gave them a real good push in there to make sure they sealed really, really well. So again, I got three different types of darts there. And again, every one of those that I shot out of here, just fast, right? The e-bike ones are a little bit thicker, so it didn't shoot as fast, but still all the major ones that I see are great. I mean, overall, guys, I think the Dino Squad kind of line so far is, is pretty cool. Again, especially with the Rex Rampage, I really like that one. I have no complaints, and I'm super pumped to do this review next, which again is the Stego Smash. I get that it's a single shot blaster, but still, I really like kind of those, uh, those uh, whatever you call those, the spikes on the side there. It looks kind of cool. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this thing. I am definitely curious to see what you guys say, and if you guys are going to take off some of this extra on here to kind of boost things, boost this thing up and kind of strip it down. Anyways, definitely subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Definitely, again, get on the giveaways if you guys haven't already. Thanks again, Fox fans.